<laughs> okay, here we go. Hi everyone, this is Rachel here, the Modern Shaman. Thanks again for being with me for another YouTube video of the week. I am glad you all are back here and welcome to 2024. If you're new to this channel, I always advise those of you guys to check out my website, which is themodernshaman.net. There are a lot of ways to get connected with me there if you'd like to book a session. My online calendar is available through my website as well as my masterclass teaching curriculum. And that works you through a multitude of online teaching modules with workbooks and um, PDF handouts, guided meditations, guided activations, you name it. There is a lot of information there to help you grow in your spiritual and metaphysical knowledge and more so remembrance. So I hope you check it out. Again, that's themodernshaman.net. All right, here's the question y'all sent in for today. It says, hi, Rachel. Thank you so much for this channel. I'm sad I missed your last event. Yes, we had an amazing winter solstice event, but I'm sure we will do a summer solstice. We've already kind of had it in the works and the discussion because so many people loved it and wanted to come back for another. So we will try to make that a regularity. So put it on your calendar, summer solstice in June. Um, okay. I wanted to ask if you could get, give some advice for 2024. Um, that's it. That's the question. Some advice for 2024. <laughs> I see why my assistant saved it for today. Uh, cause we're just starting out the new year and new year energy is so interesting because really over so much of our human history as souls choosing human form on this planet, our calendars have shifted. So the current calendar that we are mostly living in in the Western world celebrates the new year during the end of December, the beginning of January. It's not that way for the Eastern world, but it is that way here in the United States where I live. And so much of that is aligned with our seasonal calendar and the cyclical nature of things moving through the wintering cycle and it's deep into essentially the energy of death. It is a cycle of death and rebirth. And we are deep when we hit New Year's Day, right? We are deep into the wintering cycle of the earth. And it is a retreat time. It is a recoil and introversion and the energy is moving in and into creation, the womb space of the divine feminine. So in the fall, we have the die off where all of the leaves fade and fall and aspects of our self fade and fall off. We molt if we are an animal, uh, we lose part of that skin. If we are reptilian, there is a natural part of the body that lets go and gives way for the moving internal, which is the new year. And if you are in touch with that natural circadian cycle that the earth follows, you will feel like introverting, like coming into yourself, going inside. And this is the best place from which to view or perceive or observe your own patterns and make your own sense of intention for the next year, which is what we call New Year's uh, resolutions. It is coming to a place that naturally wants to set a forward momentum and energy and project and become aware that you are about, you're on a precipice in this deep wintering that is about to bloom and we are just about to move into the spring and so there is a natural sense of wanting to start the energy which will manifest blossoms and abundance and growth for you 
So it is the contemplative time of decision making, but it is done from inside an interior space, that womb like space. So think of creating the baby, still staying in the womb, still needing to be nurtured, but this is your idea time where all of your um, goals, as we call them in our Western kind of world of manifestation, start to take hold, but they are taking hold in the creative space. So we are still kind of um, sauteing them. <laughs> I love all that language of the creation of food, right? We are nurturing the sustenance of it. We are stirring the pot. So we're thinking up ideas. Um, we are nurturing the creative juices and sitting in that contemplative energy. And this is kind of where we begin our new year or where we see the energy is currently. Uh, advice for 2024, let me tune into that. So I will just close my eyes and go internal and I encourage you to do the same. Make sure that your feet are firmly planted on the floor to keep your body and your physical energy grounded. Mm. My ears pop. As the channel opens. Twenty twenty four is the year of homecoming. May you return to yourself, to your home, to your memory, and a remembrance of who you are and where you came from. I'm seeing a lot of vision here. So vision first of a cross or two axis points in sacred geometry, one running vertically up and down the pranic tube of the body, one running horizontal And then they begin to spin. And um, there's energy coming out the front and the back, the side, essentially spherical pulsing. Like a top. Perfectly balanced in the center of the self. This is a meditation practice given to you all that are watching this video. To bring yourself into that homecoming energy. When I hear home, uh, it is vibrating in the tone of the om. So I hear it just like that, home. And um, the tongue goes to the top of the roof of your mouth and the hollow cavity in my mouth vibrates and then the frequency is sustained and I can feel that frequency moving up into the cave of my pineal and pituitary gland. So this is channeled as a I hear guided practice. Spirit likes the term practice instead of meditation. Practice it. I hear that uh, directed practice. Okay, let's do it now. So first align your physical body with the vertical axis, making sure your tailbone is straight and align with your skull. You may need to just adjust your subtle posture of your chin so that your spine is perfectly straight 
you'll feel it when you get there. There's a little bit of a wobble that wants to kind of sit back on the haunches of your butt. And the pads of the butt muscles kind of, there you go, settling in. And your posture feels balanced vertically. And then spread the cross axis straight through your heart chakra here and elongate it out through your shoulders and feel it stretching in both directions from the center. Again, balanced, stretch wide and you'll feel the energy start to disperse from your shoulders as if it's dispersing up and down equally. And just sit until both axis points feel perfectly balanced. And just breathe here for a minute. Make sure your tension is, is released. So you're not holding these postures with tension. Let the energy be wide and strong. And the visual, if you are clairvoyant, hold this golden white light. That golden frequency assigned to the angelic realm, but it's just a higher vibrational frequency in alignment with your higher aspects of yourself and your soul. And then just like a gyroscope, we're gonna let both axis points spin. So first, take the vertical pranic tube as if you could spin it right and left like a dime spinning on itself. Spin vertically. There we go. And let the tube spin perfectly on itself. And then let the energy spread out wide I gave that example of the dime because that's what I see, essentially that the beam of light is open forward and backward as if it's projecting light forward and backward and we are able to flatten it like a two-dimensional piece of paper or three-dimensional dime and spin it. spinning perfectly balanced on itself. And then we have the same from the vertice, the horizontal vertice coming out of our shoulders. There is a beam of light going up and a beam coming down. And now we have a flat two-dimensional piece of paper as if our torso and our body is cut in half. Or like a dime. Now spinning the opposite direction. Creating a gyroscope, a spherical Base of energy, spinning around ourselves and over and under ourselves, up and down, side to side. Let it spin and then that golden white light create an egg around you, a sphere 
a perfectly balanced sphere. From inside this space, activate your chakras, starting with just the line of sight of the colors. Your root chakra, your tailbone, just ignite and light the red color as if you're turning on a light switch. Turn on the red, move up to your pelvis, your sacral chakra, turn on the red, and now the orange and the sacral. Moving up to the solar plexus, turning on the yellow in your belly, underneath your navel, and then in to the diaphragm chakra, turning on that turquoise, emotional energy of light, into the heart, turning on the green light, just seeing these light up. Staying balanced as you're still spinning the spheres like a gyroscope in perfect equal balance around you. Now moving into the higher heart, a light pink connected to the thymus and the thyroid. All that energy this is a perfect immune system. Moving into the throat. Activating blue light, turning that on, shining blue. And in the back of that, in the back of the neck, the well of dream chakra, that indigo deep blue. Moving up higher into the third eye, the pineal and pituitary chakra, a balanced sphere all the way around, purple bright and royal, turning on that light and then moving into the crown at the top of the head. White, beautiful luminance, turning on that light. And then noticing that the sphere around you is now rainbow in color and luminance, activating the rainbow body the spherical Merkaba, your engine to connect with the higher aspects of the self for this year of remembering, this year of homecoming, because you aren't leaving and going anywhere, but you are returning and all the aspects of the self that had been fragmented, forgotten. Ask them to return to you now. From this space of perfect balance and illumination, I ask for all fragmented aspects of my own soul, my own memory, to return to me now. That I may know my purpose and that this year specifically I may walk in the fulfillment of the actions of my purpose. And stay, stay here. Notice the sensations of the returning. Reminder to keep your muscles relaxed. This 
so the energy has places to return to. I could sit here for a very long time, but I won't. I just heard it. Um, it's time to stop, so I will. Sending you all blessings. May you live the life you came here to live.